All right, guys, so in the last video, we created our store and also finished up the initial code for the app component. Now, in order to be able to run our application, we need to do a couple things. And we're going to use gulp to handle some tasks that we need done. So this is the gulp file.js. And we're going to create a variable called gulp. And we want to require it. All right. We also want to include browserify. Okay, we're going to need reactify. That's going to take care of uh, our JSX code. Reactify. And just in case you don't know what JSX is, it's whatever we return in our render method. All right, and there's a few rules that we have to follow. For instance, we can't create a class like this. We have to use class name. All right, and there's a few other things that um, that you'll need to know as well. We'll, we'll get to that later. Um, so let's see, reactify. Okay, we're also going to need our vinyl source stream module. So this is going to be source equals require. And we want vinyl source stream. All right, so let's do our first task, which is going to be browserify. So gulp.task. And we want the name of the task. So what this is going to do is it's going to take all of our JavaScript. So our actions, our components, constants, all of these JavaScript files, it's going to combine them into one file called main.js. And that's going to be put in a folder called dist, all right, which will hold our compiled application. So let's say browserify. All right, and then in there we want to pass in source slash js slash main dot js. All right, and then we want to add on to this, we're going to say dot transform. And this is going to take in reactify that's going to take care of the JSX. All right, next, we're going to call bundle. Okay, that's going to do what I just said bundle everything together. And then we want to say dot pipe. And we want it to be in a file called main.js. And then another pipe. This is where we set our destination. So we're going to say gulp dot dest. And then we're going to pass in dist slash js. So main.js will go into dist slash js. And you don't have to worry about creating dist. It's going to do that for you. So that's the whole browserify task. All right, so we're going to create another one. So gulp dot task. And this one's going to be called copy. And this is going to be responsible for bringing over things like the index file, the CSS and the vendors. All right, so we'll say function. And then gulp dot source. Okay, and we're going to pass in source slash index.html because we want to bring that over and we want to call dot pipe gulp dot dest okay just like we did above and that's going to go right into the dist folder all right so that takes care of one now we need to make sure that we move the css files all right so we'll say gulp dot source and we want source slash CSS. Now we want every file that's in there. So we're going to do an asterisk dot asterisk. All right. So any file with any extension, you could do dot CSS, but um, I'm just going to leave it like that. OK, same thing. We're going to say gulp dot dest. And then we're going to pass in dist slash CSS. All right, so we have one more. I'm just going to copy this. OK, 
Okay, so this is going to be source slash JS slash vendors. So anything in the vendors folder, which would be jQuery, Bootstrap, whatever you want to include. All right, um, and then that's going to go to dist slash JS. Okay, so that's the copy task. Now we need to set up the default. So we're going to say gulp dot task. And this is going to be default. And then we will just want to include an array with the other tasks we want to run. So browserify and copy. All right, and then we're going to pass in a function callback. And we're going to return gulp.watch. Now, what this will do is it's going to continuously run the process so that we can continue to code and every time we save it'll be updated and we can see that change see the changes in the browser alright so we want to pass in uh, src slash and then any folder slash and then any file okay and then we just need to add that array again so browserify and copy Oops. All right, so that should be it for the boilerplate. We may have some errors that we need to fix, but that looks about right. So what we'll want to do now is go to our command line. Let's see, is this correct? Yeah. All right, so before we actually run Gulp, we need to install all our dependencies. All right, everything's in the package.json file that we need. So we should be able to now say npm install. And it could take a minute or two. All right, so everything should now be installed. You have this node modules folder. And now what we want to do is run gulp and hope everything works out. All right, so it looks like we're getting an error. Let's see. Error after 15 browserify dest.on is not a function. Okay. Uh, let's see. Oh, I see the issue. Right here, this pipe main.js, we actually have to add source. Okay, this is where the vinyl source stream module comes in. So I'll just add that. All right, and we'll save it and let's run gulp again. Okay, so this means that it's it's running, okay? And if we look up here, we now have a dist folder and oh, it didn't bring over index.html. It brought over jQuery, main.js, and if we look at main.js, it's just everything all mushed together. All right. Um, CSS, that's over. Now the index.html didn't. So let's check that out. Oh, there's a comma. <laughs> That's why. All right. So let's go ahead and stop that with control C. And what I'm going to do is delete the dist folder. And we're going to run gulp again. OK, so now we have the index folder. So let's try and open that up and see what we get. So we'll go to dist and then index. We're going to open that with Chrome. Let me bring it over. All right, so we get my app. Let's open up the console, make sure, okay, we're getting no errors. That's good. Now everything is coming out of right here. All right, so if we change this, we'll say, hello world, save it, and it updates. So this is the, the entire boilerplate, okay? This is what you have if you get it from GitHub. All right, I just wanted to go through it step by step. And then in the next video, we're going to start on working on an application using this boilerplate.